what we're looking at now are the two transducers on the boat. You've got the forward-facing 3D sonar transducers, which the two big through hulls over here are for. And basically how it works, you've got the cap that if you need to remove it at any stage, you can put on to keep the water from coming into the boat. And basically the through hull transducer literally will just come in and just drop straight inside the hole. You'll push it all the way in and get it to face in the right direction. And uh, basically <coughs> the two transducers work together sending a signal and that's how you get your 3D is because you've got the two transducers and uh, we'll take a look at uh, that on the screen a little bit later. Over here we've got your inhale transducer. Basically what we had to do here is we had to get down to the last layer, the last bare fiberglass section of the boat otherwise the transducer won't work so we had to cut a hole into the boat then we've dropped this in and uh, corked it in place and then you fill it with antifreeze and basically this is a great transducer for high speed um, so it's a good option for a boat like this that does go really fast alright on the underside of the boat in order to uh, accommodate the pretty large forward facing 3D sonar transducers we had to get custom made fairing blocks which were then fiberglassed onto the underside of the hull of the boat the, f the through hulls in which uh, the transducers slide into need to be mounted vertically and in line with one another. There's two of them, one on either port or starboard. So we got these custom made fairing blocks, drilled the necessary holes, inserted the through hulls, built up the th fairing blocks and uh, gel coated those. So this is where the two forward facing 3D sonar transducers will be sitting. All right, we had to, for the two transducers, mount the transducer interface for the Echo Pilot over here, which has got your two data cables coming from the two through hull transducers. You've got the data cable that runs to the visual processor up at the helm station, and you've got your power. And uh, over here, we've got the GSD. This is the, I suppose, a transducer interface for the in hull transducer and this is sending the information to the Garmin chart plotters. As part of the autopilot installation you've got to have the hydraulic pump and the ECU. So we've got the hydraulic pump over here which is connected into the autopilot system and that controls the steering of the boat. Over here you've got the ECU which is uh, the component that sends the information from here in the aft compartment all the way to the helm station. You've got a power cable, you've got your rudder feedback cable, you've got your drive cable and you've got your interconnect cable over here. Alright on the roof we're looking at some of the components to the electronic system. Up here we've got your radar which is the Garmin HD and uh, we've got your GPS unit which needed to be installed to go along with the whole system. We also installed a GWS-10, the wind sensor, which is over here, and that makes up the components for the electronic system on the roof, the T-top. One of the other things on the boat that uh, we did was upgrade the electrical system. The boat came standard with two lead acid batteries as the house bank, and with all the new electronics installed on the boat, that just wasn't going to be sufficient for the load. So we installed four AGM batteries, as you can see here they are. What we needed to do is the location of the original battery bank was not large enough to fit the four batteries so we had to find a location where we could install the four batteries and this was the area that we found and this is where we installed the four batteries. Also we needed to install a master volt inverter charger as you can see here it is mounted up on the wall and uh, with this we installed a master shunt right in the back corner over there on the wall and that is connected to the network switch over there which then also is connected to a remote control panel which is uh, installed in the head of the boat which gives you all the information about the battery charge how many amp hours you have etc